A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible. Hi everyone! Well, I really liked your feedback on my video the other day about getting back into the swing of things with diet and exercise. And in today's video, I'm going to show you basically what I eat for a day at about 1600 calories. Now, for the exercise, normally I would do uh, lower body and abdominals for about 10 minutes of strength training. But in place of that today, I have a lot of unglamorous weeding to do outside. So that's going to take me at least an hour. It's going to involve using those same muscles of my lower body, especially the legs, because I'm going to have to crouch down a lot. In one of my upcoming videos, I will actually show you my lower body and abdominal workout. And uh, I will keep it as ladylike as possible, I promise you. For this morning, for my breakfast, I was craving some peanut butter, but I realized that my specialty peanut butter that I like to eat, which is basically all natural peanut butter, uh, was missing, and I'm not going to name any names. I will just say that when people eat my special diet foods, I can get very stroppy, but I am not too good for generic peanut butter, so that's what I'm going to be having this morning. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, peanut butter with banana on toast. I'm also going to be topping my uh, peanut butter and banana on toast with some cinnamon. So my, my uh, toast is up. There is my first slice. I feel like you guys are here with me in my kitchen when I'm doing this. It's kind of therapeutic in a way, even when I'm making simple things, just to know I have my uh, friendly subscribers and watchers here. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to get the banana on top. Now this is a medium-sized banana. So you can see that's really just enough. It's a slightly thick, but that's all right. All right, and there you have it. You got the cinnamon, peanut butter, and banana on whole wheat toast. Now let's eat this. Kind of heavy pieces. All right, guys, ready for my first big bite. That's really good. If you ask me, this is a well-rounded breakfast at 431 calories. So what I did was I took all of the dead stems from these uh, flowers that we had last year in spring and summer, and I just got the dead growth up and put it back here behind our tree because I notice that birds like to uh, take this kind of material and make nests out of them. So I figured I'd be helping nature by putting all of this stuff here for them. And there is plenty of it, so it makes me feel good to know that I could be helping birds make a bunch of new generations. I'd like to help nature. Welcome back. It is lunchtime. And for this meal, I'm going to make uh, a dish that is kind of cheap to make. But for me, it's always satisfying. And it is going to be starting with this bowl of vegetables. Very simple stuff. One leaf of green leaf lettuce, like a medium-sized leaf, a plum tomato, and a green onion, all chopped up and placed in this bowl. And then I've got three quarters of a cup of cooked black beans, and half a cup of brown rice. You could always, you know, use white rice if you want, but you know, brown rice does tend to be healthier for most people. So what I do for this is 
I take the black beans and put them on the plate like so. <laughs> this is kind of sort of like a, a little bit of a, kind of a dump and go kind of thing. So then I take the half cup of brown rice and put that on top. Now, I advise usually if you're eating this meal in the spring or summer to eat this um, a little cold, like if you have cold black beans and cold brown rice, um, that goes well because it's kind of a salad, but really you can use any temperature for your rice and beans. So just spread this around on the plate a little bit like that. And then take the vegetables and put that on top. You can see this is a big plate of food, right? Get the rest of those vegetables out of there. All right. Just spread that around as well. This is very, very pretty. Okay, very few steps left to this meal. Easy, like I said. Then I take one tablespoon of oil. I have olive oil here and just drizzle that on top. One tablespoon does sound like a lot of olive oil, but it's in the calorie allotment for the day. All right, then take, I'm going to take some red wine vinegar. Going to drizzle that on top like a capful. Okay. Drizzle that on top of the makeshift salad. The next thing I do is I take a dash of salt. Technically, a dash of salt is 1 16th of a teaspoon. When you look at most measuring spoon sets, you're going to find that the smallest size is often 1 eighth, one eighth of a teaspoon. So you have to kind of eyeball it to get that dash of, sea, a dash of salt, which is 1 16th. Put it in your hand like that, and I'm going to sprinkle the sea salt on top all over. Then I'm going to put some black pepper on top. Now, that really is the final product. But that's my rice and bean salad. And uh, sumac spice also tastes good on top of this. The sumac spice, if you haven't seen me talk about this spice before that I talk a lot about, it tastes like a cross between lemon and paprika or lemon and chili powder. So I might sprinkle that a little bit of that on top of this. I'm not even going to measure it. It's a spice, so I don't count the calories in my herbs and spices. So you can see here I have a very, very small amount. Fresh ingredients, whole ingredients. Um, what, what is not to like here? I get to eat this whole thing for my lunch. All right, you ready to take a bite? Here we go. Tangy and delicious, I love it. I highly recommend this rice and bean salad. I'm also changing the dining room drapes today. I chose these uh, curtains right here. Uh, they come with the shears attached. All right, so here I have the tassels around the solid curtains in the middle. So at some point my husband's going to put in tie back hooks on the side. The shears give privacy, but still allow a lot of light in because it's like a cream color. You like this, honey? Yep, great. All right. Okay, guys, so I hope you like them.
Okay friends, it is time for dinner. And I am going to have something kind of simple tonight. Uh, I'm going to have for my dinner a can of tuna that's been drained, two tablespoons of olives, a cup of brown rice, and half a cup of a sliced green bell pepper chopped up. So everything is sitting here separate on the plate. Sometimes I like to just dip my fork in and just um, you know mix it on the plate as I want or eat them eat the items separately. So I have this. I'm just going to add a couple of more touches to this. I'm going to drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil on top. I won't be using vinegar this time, but I like the fatty satisfaction from the olive oil. That really helps me enjoy the diet. Alright, uh, next I'm going to add black pepper and Italian seasoning. You guys who watch my videos, you'll see me use these spices and herbs a lot because they're really my favorites. And it's nice to be able to have your favorite items when you're on a diet. And finally, for the sumac I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put a lot of sumac on this plate. So, you can see here, I have quite a bit. So let's get this sumac on top. This kind of takes place of the bite of the vinegar that I used earlier, but you can really mix the items. I mean, we're talking about almost calorie-free items like vinegar, herbs, and spices. You can kind of just um, put what you want on it, and that's uh, I would, I'd like to have a small list of those very, very low calorie items like vinegar and the spices because I know I can use more and it's not really going to put any weight on me. I'm going to have a little bit of olive with some brown rice and some tuna and a little bit of brown, uh, a little bit of a green bell pepper. That is very satisfying. I forgot to mention that I have enough calories left for half a cup of chocolate ice cream. It is really important to me to be able to get a little treat in sometimes and half a cup is enough to um, really satisfy my appetite for chocolate. So this is going to round out and finish my day of approximately 1600 calories. I hope that whatever you're eating, if you're on a diet today, or if you're not, that you're just enjoying what you're eating. So take care, guys. These are some tough times, and I'm thinking about you all. So enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you again soon.